This video is to introduce a peripheral neural block for post-op pain control in posterior cervical spine surgery called Cervical Services Plan Block or CCEP block. Posterior cervical spine surgery often involves a deep midline incision, mobilization of paraspinal muscles and resection of bone which can cause significant post-surgical pain. Bilateral ultrasound guide cervical services plan CCEP block it targets the dorsal remind of cervical spinal nerves. It has been performed for post-op pain control in posterior cervical spine surgery. CCEP block has been called several other names, such as intersemispinal plan block. This is the anatomy of posterior cervical region. On the left side, you can see the semispinalis capitis muscle. On the right side is the cervical services plan which is anterior to the semispinalis capitis muscle. This is a continuous plane that extends from the occiput to the C7 level. The dorsal remain of the cervical spinal nerves run through that plane and provide branches that innervate the posterior cervical muscles and the skin. The deep cervical vein and artery are in this facial plan as well. The nomenclature is critically essential for teaching, research, and the clinical practice of regional anesthesia. For that purpose, we would call the facial plan lateral to the multifidus muscle as a cervical multifidus plan, CMP. The facial plan lateral to the services muscle as a cervical services plan, CCEP, and the facial plan lateral to the capitis muscle as a cervical capitis plan, CCAP. The first part of this video shows ultrasound guide cervical services plan block at C5 level to cover the surgery from C3 to T1 level. The patient was kept in prone position under general anesthesia. A 2-inch echo block needle was placed at the level of C5 spinous process between the cervical semispinalis surfaces and the cervical semispinalis capitis muscle. Quarter percent or 0.5 percent of bibivacan 10 cc was injected bilaterally. The needle from lateral to medial approach. In general, the CCEP is a bright facial layer under ultrasound, which is easy to be identified. You can identify the deep cervical artery on the left corner. The second part of this video shows ultrasound guide cervical services plan block at C2 or C3 level, which can be used in the surgery from C1 to C4 level, such as carry decompression procedure. This video demonstrates the ultrasound probe was scanning from C3 to C2 level.
In this video, you can see the local injection at the C2 level. As for intra-op neural monitoring, I have done many of CCESP block since 2016. I have never seen any CCEP block that impact SSEP and MEP signals during intra-op neural monitoring. Thank you for watching this video.